Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. That was the deal. The details elude me now. But the details wouldn't change a goddamn thing. Hey guys, it's Chase from Burnout Inc. and I'm going to do a review of the NECA Bioshock Infinite Elizabeth action figure. I uh, found this at Toys R Us yesterday. Uh, it was only $15.97, so if you have one in your, if you have a Toys R Us in your area and you want to get this action figure, that's where you can find it. You can probably find it at some other stores too, like, you know, Hastings or wh wherever. I don't know. But I don't know a whole lot about this character and I don't actually know a whole lot about Bioshock Infinite. I know the, the first Bioshock is one of my favorite games that I've ever played like ever. It's that good. But this one I've actually sort of been purposely staying away from it, just not really watching any trailers and stuff for it and j just so when I play the game there's just gonna be a, a lot of surprises and stuff I'm just not expecting. I, I, I think that's kinda hyping up the game for me a little bit. But anyway, let's get into the figure real quick. Our packaging, she had this uh, backer piece in there. It's got a picture of a, a steampunk-esque uh, Zeppelin. It says uh, Bioshock Infinite on the top. And then she had a little front card with her picture on it and her name. On the back of the card, had a picture of Elizabeth. Her name in big, bright, white font and a nice uh, description of sort of who she is, but kind of still pretty vague to not really be spoiler-esque. Spoiler and it says Bioshock Infinite once again. It's cool. I actually do like this um, this backer card. I might keep it for her and just display it behind her. I think it's really nice. But let's get into the figure. Take her off in my little stand there. Just looking at the picture and then looking at the figure, I mean, this is a perfect likeness of her. It's very, very well done. Uh, the only change I've noticed, and I don't know if this happens during the game or whatever, is she's actually wearing a different necklace or choker. On this one, she's wearing um, a bright blue choker that's got some silver highlights in there, and it's got like a, a black and silver pendant in the middle. This one almost looks like it's either entirely silver or like it's made out of flowers or like lace something like that but overall yeah I mean the character is just absolutely perfect in design uh, or perfect towards the game's design um, her face sculpt is dead on and it's very very cute I mean I don't see a lot of female action figures where I can say that to where it's like okay this is a beautiful figure. I mean, I've, I have a lot of statues that look like that, but the figures, well, they leave a lot to be desired, but this one, they totally nailed it, so great, great job, NECA, and just a great job by whoever sculpted it. It's very nicely done. Uh, hair looks really cool, too. You can make out all the the light brown and the dark browns in there. It's very nice, and I just love the design of it. It's very cool. Uh, the jacket's a separate piece, so it can move around a little bit, and you could probably take it off if you were going to make a custom, or you just wanted to see what she looked like without it. Uh, the sleeves are molded on, as are the cuffs. Her corset is really cool. It's got a lot of nice detail in it. Um, buttons on there are a separate gold color from the gray tone of it. And I just, I really like the way it forms her figure. Uh, it, it's exactly how a corset should 
look on a female character. I've seen a lot of them where it just, it just looks like they added on a corset to a basic action figure instead of more or less molding the whole thing together. And yes, it does pop her boobies up, makes them look very voluptuous. She's got her hands out here. This one's just kind of uh, a gentle kind of caressing. Oh, it's going to be okay. The game's going to be awesome type hand. And then she's got sort of a gripping hand over here, like she can hold a weapon to defend herself. Um, her skirt is a very, very nice soft fabric that you can move around. And I really, really like the material they use. The blue shines and it looks great. Uh, the white, you know, looks good too. I like all the stitching work that they did in it and it does have a lot of nice detail in it. And it's very flexible. It's got nice range of motion in there so you can pose her and not have to worry about it. It's a lot better than having like a plastic skirt or something made out of soft rubber. So future people, if you're going to make a character with a long skirt or hell, even with a mini skirt, you know, just give them this kind of fabric or something. And yes, the skirt does go all the way up, but she's wearing some long johns, so sorry people if you were expecting something risque. And they look pretty nice, you know, her Aladdin poofy pants or whatever. And she's got some very nice little boots right here. I mean, they're really, really well done. Uh, it's kind of a dull, dark gray color with some brown highlights in there. Uh, she's got some little laces right there that are kind of flexible, so you can move them around a little bit. And then there's actually some detail in there. You can you can see the laces and the texturing in the boots. Very, very well done. These look amazing. Uh, the paint on here is absolutely perfect and clean. Everything is done very, very nicely. Um, I'd say the the best painted part of this figure is definitely her face and her head sculpt. I mean, the hair really stands out. Her eyes look really cool. Uh, you can see the, the freckles and stuff underneath her eyes. And yeah, everything on here is just very, very well done. Articulation, Elizabeth can rotate her head 360 degrees. She's got kind of like an ab rocker in there. No ab crunch, though. Arms can go all the way around. They can go out. She's got a swivel in her elbow and a single joint in there as well. Her wrist can rotate 360. Her legs kind of have like a T-joint in there to where they can go out like that very easily and all the way out like that and again the having the long skirt helps because it doesn't hinder articulation. She's got a single joint in the knee that can actually rotate 360 as well. Her boots can rotate 360 and she does have a slight pivot in there as well to where you can bend them up and help stabilize her because her feet are really small. That's probably my only major gripe about the figure is it's hard to stand her without a stand. So I'm just going to take my WWE Legend stand and pop her on there. Elizabeth is a solid 9.5 out of 10. My only gripe is that her feet are just a little too small to where she can she can stand on her own, but putting her in a number of poses, she is going to fall over, so you will need a stand. And even with the stand, she does still kind of tip over just because her feet don't do a good enough job of stabilizing her. But everything else on this figure is absolutely perfect. The paint is super clean and detailed. Um, the sculpt of it is amazing. The articulation was a total surprise to me. Uh, she doesn't really come. She has, she comes with no accessories. I don't know if that's again a character trait to where she's not really supposed to have anything. I know she, for a reading from the backer card that she reads a lot, so it would have been interesting to see if she had like a book or like a stack of books or something like that. That would have been kind of cool. But for what you do get, and for as cheap as the figure is. It's amazing. It's a solid 9.5 out of 10. It's a definite must-buy for any fan of the Bioshock series. Alright, this was Chase from Burnout Inc., and I'll see you guys next time.